Welcome to Section 3, Tactical Dashboards. In the previous section, we created an analytical dashboard, learning about time series charts, heat maps, slicers, parameters, and data export. In this section, we will create a tactical dashboard. This will allow us to explore statistical charts, including dot plots and box plots, funnel charts, and more geographic maps. In this video, I'll describe the example we'll be building. In the next video, we'll create some dot plots, dipping our toes into statistical visualization. After that, we'll check a couple of box and whisker charts, available as custom visuals. We'll provide our marketing folks insight into our sales pipeline using funnel charts. And finally, we'll look at Power BI's built-in geographic map visuals. So now I'll introduce the tactical dashboard example. Tactical dashboards are often aimed at managers looking to understand what's going on in their line of business. They're looking to predict, diagnose, and solve problems. So, tactical dashboard hallmarks include a department level focus, high level roll up, and drill down from totals to details. To this end, we'll add some sales pipeline data to the customer data we started with in section one. We'll look at where, both in the world and on the internet, our e commerce customers are coming from and how far they are getting in our shopping cart process. Users often give up before their order is shipped, and the purpose of this tactical dashboard is to help managers understand why. We'll start with some statistical charts. Two kinds of dot plots are common statistical visualizations that help visualize details. They provide a bit more detail than bar charts, although we'll use some of those too. Box and whisker plots are another statistical visualization used to characterize distributions and identify outliers. These can help identify trouble spots. We'll then roll up one level using two variants of the funnel chart to help our marketing department understand the state of our sales. Finally, we'll explore Power BI's built-in geographic maps, which can guide us to detailed understanding of our customers by region. Let's take a look at the completed report. Our front page, we open up with a funnel chart. This indicates the percentage of customers that are making it from one stage to the next in our shopping cart process. Below that, we have a horizontal funnel, which breaks down our leads by source, showing us where on the internet our customers are coming from. Top right, we have two dot plots. These offer deeper insight into the distribution of our customers across both stages and sources. On the next page, we break our process down by stage and source. We pair box plots with bar charts to offer two perspectives into each breakdown. The box plots help us quickly visualize the range of each group, as well as outliers. Bar charts facilitate value comparisons. As usual with Power BI, all the visuals are linked, letting our managers explore the details. Finally, we have a location tab that helps us understand where in the world our customers are coming from. We use three different map visuals to highlight three aspects of our customer data. In the top left, we use the same map visual we saw in video 1.3, but this time we break customers down by gender. Below that, we use the filled map visual to create a choropleth of customers' home countries. Finally, the right side features the Esri ArcGIS visual, which provides a totals to details drill down.